We're here at AQS Quilt Week in Paducah, and I'm here with Tammy Graber, who won two awards in the show this year. She also won third place in the Small Wall Quilts Quilter's Choice, sponsored by Janome. You get two check marks. I do. Yes. Well, this is a fun quilt, and you did some more painting. I did. Okay. Yeah, I've learned that. I know that's that the like most that. fun for me is to do a combination of things on a quilt. You know, a little traditional work with fabric, but if I can use some paint too, that makes it easier than piecing those or applicating them, and yet it's a fun process for me. So tell me how you did the painting of all these steps, because did you do it in one piece or split it up? You know, I, I thought long and hard on that, and I thought it's not that big, I probably could do it, in one piece and I had it all drawn out on fabric like that because I do my painting on muslin and then I cut it out and then applique it down on the background. But then as I started to do that, I was worried about getting my arm in it, so I decided to cut it into small sections. And I would paint one row a day, just for fun, no hurry here. And then as I created them, I would attach the next set on down. Um, when I got finished, I wasn't completely happy with all of them. So then I just cut them out, add another piece of fabric behind it, and did what I wanted to do. Um, I have a love, being from the Tucson, Arizona, southwest, of Mexican artistry, the colorfulness, and I really see Mexican tiles all the time. So I've painted several quilts, I did, and, and you know, my technique for painting Mexican tiles have been in magazines, but I have never done any this tiny, I've always done full size ones. So this was the challenge. Down here wasn't so bad, but when they got up here to be like half an inch square, I was happy to learn that there is a pen with uh, textile paint in it to be able to work very So small. you didn't have to use a brush? No, I did not use a brush on any of the tiles. And then when that was all complete, I laid it on the background and just applied it down. And then went about the rest of the business. So and then you did some nice little embellishing on the little pot of plants that you decorated it with? This is fun. You know, usually as an art quilter, I do whimsical art. And yet, when I was looking on Pinterest for some inspirations, I came across a photograph by this woman, Sarah, of Uninvented Colors Photography from Mississippi. And I sent her a message. I saw this photo. I really would like to do it. Her mom was a quilter. She gave me permission, like, oh, that would be so great. And I'm like, Mississippi, where do you have that? She said, San Antonio, Texas, the McKay Art Museum. This is the stairs going into the art museum. So I tried to do it as realistic as possible. So the lesson on that part of it is just ask if you want to use someone else's artwork. They're thrilled most of the time to say yes. You know, she was shocked that I bothered to find her to ask and so appreciative that I actually tried hard to find her and I was very tickled that she was super nice and has shared my quilt with her mom, the quilter, and that kind of stuff. So. Now you did something a little different down here for the background. Yes, I love doing confetti quilting because then you can be like a real artist. You know, you stand back and you think a little light for the sunshine, a little dark for the shadow, but then uh, most people know that after you chop up all your little fabric scraps and you can put it underneath the net and that keeps it down and it really does look like shrubbery. It certainly does. Yeah. It almost looks textured yeah. because of the way you play the colors it's in textured. there. Yeah. So, um, all right, I want to know how you did this. That had to be a challenge. Yeah, and this was, I was trying to do it exactly like the real photo. And unfortunately, it didn't have this very complex wrought iron grate over this window. And I had, how am I going to do that? So my husband is a surgeon. I borrowed a scalpel and I sat for hours cutting out these tiny pieces because I wanted to be all one piece. So after I built the window, I could just lay it over the top of that. That was pretty tedious. No, but it works. <coughs> yeah. Well, congratulations oh, again. Thank you so much, Brian. All right. And we hope that you will enter your quilts in AQS. And you can do that by going to AmericanQuilter.com and come and see our quilts at the show.